because um, being a woman, I, I feel that I'm quite independent and I'm quite strong and I don't need that narrative, thanks. I'm not against love, you know, I'm all about it, but I think that it's an important message for women to, to have that narrative put in where we don't need the men to save us. And I think that it's really beautiful that the two sisters save each other, really, and they both learn about each other, and they're very different. And I think that that um, that contrast is really quite powerful, and everyone can relate. Oh, I'm a little bit more Anna, or I'm a little bit more Elsa. Um, and yeah, I just think that they support each other through love and understanding and compassion. And I think that that is what we need to be putting out in the world. So I'm very happy to be telling this story. Exactly. Those are some wonderful themes, uh, yeah. you know, to be re represented on stage now. Um, Olaf, actually, he's a representation of friendship because he journeys with Elsa and or Anna. He helps her through her journey. And beyond this, what is your takeaway from Olaf that audiences may not know about? Well, I think the greatest thing about this character is he's created in their bedroom when they were they're quite young. Uh, and then as Elsa grows up and she's discovering her powers, she creates a physical Olaf as she's making her way through and and all those characteristics that they they um talked about when they were kids immediately are instilled in olaf which is to be ultimately their best friend and to be able to be with anna on her journey trying to find her sister and trying to reconnect with her um is amazing because it is a it is a real uh, friendship uh, bond that they have and um it's wonderful to tell that story it's great and I can see this friendship between you and Gemma as well. So fun yeah. to yeah. uh, with Ben as well. Yeah. So yeah, I, I like to see that there's so much authenticity coming on the stage. It's not something you're just acting out, but it's just a true representation of friendship. So you guys are really, really in for a treat. Now, we've heard about the magic that's coming our way in February 2023. How would you like to ask some questions? Oh, one person has a question, I think. Who's the, oh. Don't be shy. All right, so yeah, all you have to do, put your hand up, and someone's going to come to you with a microphone. Okay, we've got a gentleman over there. Uh, somewhere in the middle with your, your hand up. Is, has someone come to you? I think the mic is magically making its way towards you. Hi, guys. Y'all sound so amazing, by the way. Seriously, and it's, and it's early. So. Uh, can I ask you, Gemma, which is the more vocally demanding role, Elphaba or Elsa? They have different challenges. It's a good question. So with Elphaba, um, she sort of sits in one singing pocket. So once you've sort of figured out that vocal placement, you can sort of sit there. But there's a lot of dialogue and she's yelling a lot. And so yeah. So I would be very, very vocally, vocally fatigued, particularly in my speaking register, because I was constantly yelling. Um, so I, that was a challenge. With Elsa, it's a little bit tricky because I'm kind of sitting in between um, singing in my sort of head voice and then a mixed belt. And so it's kind of like I'm wavering in two zones. And that actually is quite tricky um, for a singer because it's easier to sort of sit in one pocket playing one particular role. So I've very much been um, surprisingly challenged. I didn't even realize it until I started doing it. I was like, oh, this is sitting in a zone where I've got to do two things almost at once. Um, and so, yeah, so I've really worked on my voice because I didn't know um, if I was able to even sing it like this. And I was like, okay, I need to figure this out. Um, so yeah, so they're, they're both actually quite um, difficult but you know, super rewarding once you figure out how to sort of work around it and you get through the eight shows a week. <laughs> also must be nice going home not green. I love not being green. <laughs> yeah, that was the hardest part for yeah. sure. You know, I could never get her off. The, yeah, yeah. paint off was quite tricky, right? Yeah, I could just have a shower at home like a normal person. Did anyone call you the help or something? <laughs> yeah, people with point and stare. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so 